Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been discussing uh, olefin metathesis in continuation with the previous discussion of uh, Rapi A reactions uh, in which we have looked at the utility of acetylene uh, to various uh, chemical feedstock uh, uh, and how it was overcome using elegant organometallic uh, synthesis. We had also observed in the previous lectures that uh, both academia as well as industri industry had been uh, in the forefront uh, while contributing, contributing to the expansion of the field and we uh, in that context we have noted that rapi synthesis has had been uh, 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 development which has exclusively uh, or significantly happened at the uh, industry. Whereas, uh, the next one uh, olefin metathesis reactions that we have taken up in the previous uh, class uh, there we have noted that uh, both academic world as well as uh, the industrial uh, 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 world had been equally a, a serious about the development of olefin metathesis uh, reaction. Uh, in the previous discussion uh, we have also noted that uh, uh, both uh, olefin metathesis as well as olefin polymerizations, these are two se seminal uh, discoveries in the field of polymers and both have uh, been awarded with uh, uh, Nobel Prize uh, uh, in uh, 1953, whereas for the other one in 2005 about uh, 50 years uh, apart and uh, uh, both have been recognized as important de development uh, uh, in the area of uh, polymers. Uh, uh, we have also uh, uh, noted in the previous discussion that even though both uh, uh, the olefin polymerization as well as olefin metathesis had uh, its origin in mid 1900s to 1950s, uh, uh, you know uh, their elucidation and understanding uh, staggered a bit uh, with olefin polymerization uh, being understood first followed by olefin uh, metathesis. Uh, and subsequently uh, the application aspects of these two uh, 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 Nobel Prize award winning discoveries uh, uh, were taking place in the chemical world. So, with these uh, we are going to uh, focus uh, more on uh, today's topic which is on uh, olefin metathesis and I am going to give an early perspective, early uh, developmental of this discovery uh, and this is uh, uh, best uh, given uh, uh, by an article uh, in uh, chemical and engineering news uh, uh, news uh, 2002 uh, uh, volume uh, 80. Uh, page uh, 34 uh, to 38. So, this article provides a uh, uh, fantastic uh, description about the development of uh, olefin metathesis uh, in uh, 1950s, mm -hmm. uh, how uh, this was uh, taken up uh, around at that time. So, uh, continuing uh, further on our discussion on olefin metathesis, let me uh, begin by saying that initial uh, discovery uh, uh, had happened uh, in the laboratories of uh, 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 industry, particularly uh, uh, at a famous chemical industry laboratory which is at uh, DuPont. And uh, uh, which is worth mentioning that olefin metathesis discoveries happened by chance uh, by uh, exploring uh, the conditions for olefin uh, polymerization uh, reactions. So, uh, it is sort of like uh, uh, the research in uh, olefin polymerization accidentally had led to the discovery of olefin metathesis. So, olefin uh, metathesis sort of can be seen as an offshoot of olefin uh, polymerization. With that said, uh, let me uh, just uh, talk about how olefin metathesis was born uh, and it goes back uh, to 1956 um, in at DuPont. DuPont uh, is uh, 
a well known chemical industry which is uh, uh, being in being uh, more than about 200 years old and they have uh, had some wonderful chemists uh, uh, you know, which have contributed uh, to uh, uh, a new research and, uh, and development and lot of important compounds have come out of laboratories of DuPont. Uh, the famous uh, nylon uh, was also developed in DuPont and there are many other important products which have transformed the world have also had its origin tracking back to DuPont laboratories. So, in 1956 at DuPont a researcher called L. Teddy Uletro, Uletrio, uh, you know uh, while, uh, uh, while uh, polymerizing uh, propylene in molybdenum catalyst. Uh, 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 observed ethylene uh, uh, propylene polymer. So, this was a surprising uh, result because uh, if uh, the uh, if the propylene was uh, polymerized then the uh, polymer obtained should have been uh, uh, propylene polymer uh, whereas, uh, this uh, formation of the ethylene was a big surprise that how could uh, ethylene propylene uh, copolymer uh, was uh, 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 obtained. Now, to investigate that uh, uh, what Calderon uh, discovered further uh, that uh, this uh, output uh, feed uh, of this propylene gas actually uh, consisted of uh, propylene uh, ethylene and butene uh, which eventually was polymerizing uh, 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 to give this ethylene propylene uh, copolymer. So, that was kind of uh, interesting uh, observation uh, uh, which at that point remained unexplained and also uh, uh, what uh, was uh, uh, unexplained over here are the formation of other gases like ethylene and uh, butene how uh, they were uh, formed from uh, the feed which uh, had only propylene to start with. So, this uh, at that point of time this was a uh, uh, observation uh, which was completely perplexing and uh, subsequently again in uh, another uh, industrial uh, setting uh, uh, in uh, standard uh, uh, oil uh, standard oil and company of Indiana uh, this is in 1960s. The scientist involves are Peters and uh, Everings. They observed uh, that uh, uh, when uh, propylene was passed over molybdenum catalyst. in presence of alumina, aluminum compound, uh, then uh, they were uh, obtaining ethylene uh, uh, plus butene. And this is aluminum tri uh, isobutyl. Uh, in presence of aluminum triisobutyl, uh, propylene uh, was uh, 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 giving ethylene and butene, and this uh, again uh, was a, a result uh, which was at that point of time unexplained. That how could one get 
these two uh, olefins from propylene and they had uh, for, uh, uh, filed a US patent uh, regarding this discovery because they thought this might be something very uh, interesting. Uh, subsequently again another uh, observation uh, was uh, reported uh, uh, in uh, another uh, uh, industrial uh, company uh, which is uh, Philips Petroleum. in 1964 where uh, uh, the disproportionation of propylene to uh, uh, ethylene A plus butenes were reported uh, on molybdenum, uh, molybdenum hexacarbonyl compound. So, what uh, was observed over here that there has been observations which remain unexplained as how other uh, olefins uh, were forming uh, from propylene and then uh, in some cases uh, uh, that these uh, uh, olefins uh, were uh, even uh, went uh, got further polymerized to give ethylene uh, propylene or ethylene butene copolymers. So, this uh, uh, was uh, uh, a very perplexing discoveries and people uh, all uh, in the uh, industrial world as well as in the academic world were trying to uh, figure out uh, 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 as to what was happening uh, in conversion of olefin to other kinds of olefin. It seemed to them as if somebody had uh, 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 stitched cut open the olefin from the middle with a scissor and stitched uh, end with the other fragments in a very neat fashion. Uh, so, this at that time was very uh, complex uh, uh, and intriguing observation which uh, when the scientists at that uh, time uh, were unable to explain. Indeed, uh, the name of olefin metathesis uh, was uh, coined uh, uh, at industry and this uh, uh, was given uh, 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 in 1967 about uh, three more years later uh, uh, in Goodyear tires uh, 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 Goodyear tires where uh, the olef uh, the researchers uh, uh, coined the term, uh, olefin metathesis. Was first introduced. Uh, so, this uh, uh, is an uh, uh, interesting uh, 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 thing that nomenclature, the nomenclature of this. Uh, uh, a type of reaction was happened about 10 years, uh, about 15 years uh, from uh, the uh, initial observation of what this reaction uh, was meant to be. The results uh, uh, of or the term is first traced back to a tetrahedron letter publication in 1967. Three three two seven. Uh, when uh, uh, the uh, the good uh, the good year uh, first uh, 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 coined uh, uh, the term uh, uh, um, olefin metathesis. Now, uh, once uh, a name has been given to this olefin metathesis, the mystery still remained as to how uh, uh, the reaction uh, was. Uh, happening or peep, um, sort of what is the uh, mechanism of this uh, reaction. So, uh, the next focus uh, uh, of uh, research was diverted towards understanding uh, the mechanism. The mechanism of olefin metathesis.
Uh, and uh, uh, what is interesting to see uh, that a lot of effort uh, and lot of attempts uh, and speculations were made as to uh, arrive at the correct me uh, mechanisms uh, with uh, and people as usual uh, tried uh, different things uh, starting from uh, isotope labeling experiments and uh, so on and so forth uh, trying to arrive uh, at the mechanism. And uh, th uh, the most important interesting bit about it is uh, that uh, much of the speculated mechanism uh, which was uh, proposed at that time uh, uh, and were published uh, uh, got uh, accepted in premier journals however did not turn out to be true whereas uh, a very non-descriptive uh, whereas a mechanism uh, uh, in a very non-descriptive uh, foreign language uh, uh, finally turned out to be the correct and went on uh, uh, to uh, uh, win the Nobel Prize. So, uh, you, uh, one can see the excitement uh, 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 and unpredictability uh, that science has to offer. The, in this uh, effort, uh, the first uh, this, uh, set of experiments were indeed done uh, at the Goodyear tire uh, uh, using a homogeneous catalysis where uh, they uh, uh, experimented with uh, butene. at Goodyear tires. Research was done with butene and deuterated butene Uh, uh, you know uh, the combinations uh, of and other isotope leveling experiments were performed uh, to see how the uh, uh, to see the formation of olefins and what is uh, interesting uh, uh, is the fact that uh, they could see uh, the various kinds of uh, labeling where half of it is deuterated, other half remains protonated and so on and so forth depending on the type of the uh, uh, isotope labeling olefins uh, uh, they took they could arrive uh, uh, at this. And this uh, was published in uh, Journal of American Chemical Society. Uh, 1968 uh, 4133. So, this is an uh, interesting paper uh, contribution from Goodyear tires uh, where uh, they uh, took, uh, 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 took on uh, uh, and, uh, the path, path to elucidate the mechanism and the first thing they tried is to take butene and isotope level uh, butene and to see uh, uh, what kind of isotope distribution happened in the olefin that is formed uh, and then based on that they had come up uh, uh, with uh, the mechanism. The second interesting um, uh, uh, effort uh, also on uh, um, uh, leveling uh, experiments with uh, C14. labeled uh, uh, propylene was uh, uh, used uh, uh, by a uh, research uh, group in Netherlands uh, where uh, they looked at the distribution of the C14 fragments and uh, uh, to uh, describe the experiment. This is the labeled C14 carbon. So, uh, two of these gave the products
and this uh, was published uh, uh, in uh, uh, important uh, uh, journal uh, of Royal Society which is chemical communication. Uh, in the year 1968, uh, volume uh, 633. So, what is uh, worth noting is uh, uh, the time of publication for these two references, both are in 1968, uh, one happened in uh, JAX, another happened in uh, uh, Chemcom. Uh, one was from US, the other one was from Netherlands. This also highlights how competitive or how intense was the efforts, research efforts at that point of time uh, towards elucidating this uh, mechanism uh, as to how uh, this olefin metathesis reactions were happening. And in this way we see uh, the same approach of isotope labeling studies, one with deuterated olefins, the other with carbon-13 uh, labeled olefins. Uh, where uh, studied to come out at the uh, possible mechanism uh, for uh, these two uh, types of reaction. And indeed all of these uh, studies led to for, uh, the various kinds of hypothesis which we are going to be uh, uh, looking at it. And what would be surprising to see that even though a number of hypotheses uh, had been proposed uh, for the, uh, 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 the mechanism. Uh, only uh, uh, and they had appeared uh, in very many uh, uh, important journals. However, the ones that have uh, 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 that appeared in not so uh, uh, famous uh, uh, journal had uh, 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 was later uh, proven to be correct uh, and uh, 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 was recognized with Nobel Prize. So uh, that sort of uh, brings us uh, uh, to the perspective that. Uh, you know uh, the work is important and it does not really matter uh, where uh, it gets published. So long it gets published, uh, it will see the light of the day if it is a good uh, uh, effort. So uh, mm, uh, the intense, uh, intense uh, uh, speculation as to how the reaction was uh, proceeding uh, led uh, 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 to uh, the discoveries uh, uh, in various uh, uh, pathways. Uh, that was resulting uh, in the uh, metathesis reaction. With regard uh, uh, to the uh, mechanism of uh, metathesis, uh, 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 what was more interesting uh, uh, to the community was how does uh, or how is the metathesis reaction proceeding. what uh, the researchers were uh, 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 sort of perplexed at uh, was this cut and stitch phenomenon uh, observing uh, 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 at that time. So, what was perplexing? What was perplexing was the observation of cut and stitch stitching of olefins under metathesis conditions. So, uh, this uh, is something uh, which was really intriguing at that point of time and this is what consumed uh, uh, much of the effort in obtaining an understanding of these uh, uh, reactions. Now, once that was obtained, its full potential was explored uh, with regard to developing various kinds of metathesis reaction um, uh, uh, for further development. Now, with this uh, I uh, would conclude. Uh, to the uh, conclude today's lecture where we have uh, 
uh, uh, looked into this olefin metathesis particularly a from the uh, time of its origin and how it was observed first in industry uh, uh, which led uh, to baffling uh, interpretations uh, uh, with regard to the formation of this. We had also observed that the, uh, the uh, term olefin metathesis was indeed a coined um, in uh, industry uh, particularly uh, at Goodyear uh, tires uh, where uh, uh, they have termed the coined olefin metathesis to this set of reactions. We have also seen that this baffling exp uh, 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 observation of cutting and stitching of olefins uh, was observed uh, while uh, as an offshoot of while studying or developing uh, the olefin polymerization uh, chemistry uh, uh, using propylene uh, substituted olefin feeds under molybdenum catalyst in presence or in absence of uh, uh, aluminum alkyls. So, this uh, is an interesting thing to note that olefin metathesis has its birth uh, in olefin uh, polymerization and uh, which has both of which has developed into their own uh, uh, field duly recognized with Nobel prizes by their own right and merit. We had also uh, seen uh, in this uh, discussion as to how industry has helped uh, in uh, first observing this reaction. Uh, this new reaction and then getting started on it and trying to uh, name and then understand uh, this reaction with regard uh, to what uh, they were observing. So, uh, more uh, uh, of this discussion uh, uh, as we continue in the next class, uh, we look into the interesting aspect of uh, the next phase uh, of uh, focus on metathesis reaction uh, which is uh, trying to sort of trying to elucidate. Uh, 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 the mechanism in which such cutting and stitching of olefins were effortlessly being done in under the gamut of this reaction. So, what uh, 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 we would see that intense effort across uh, America and Europe at that time led to the development of this interesting reaction and uh, more on how this happened uh, as we uh, meet in the next uh, class. Till that uh, I thank you for uh, being with me in this uh, lecture where we are looking up a very interesting topic of olefin metathesis, more on uh, uh, olefin metathesis as we meet uh, next where we look at the development uh, of this reaction what has happened till today. So, with this uh, I conclude today's lecture and I look forward to being with you in the next lecture. Uh, till then goodbye and thank you. Mm -hmm.